This guy, he keep calling me. I don't know why. And I don't think he's a Muslim. But let us see what he wants. Hello? Yeah, good day, sir. Yes, my friend. You keep calling. Are you a Muslim? I'm not, obviously. Um, I just really want to investigate something from you. I'm not going to debate, but I just want to ask questions so that my faith will be strong. Okay, go ahead. What do you want to say? Um, <clears throat> they say Jesus Christ, when he ready to pray, he always cover his head. I want to know that side. I want to know whether it is true or not. Then, whether Jesus Christ removed his slippers from the foot when going to pray. So I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand what you are saying. So, uh, try to make it clear, please. Is that Jesus Christ, when he is ready to pray, when I remove these shoes from the foot, that is what I want you to know. remove what? What he remove? The shoes, the shoes. The slippers, I mean. Ah, okay. So Jesus, he removed his foot, he, he, he removed the shoes from his foot? They say so, but I don't believe. So I just want my know. friend, my friend, first of all, uh, if he took his foot off or shoes off or not, what that will, do, what does this have to do with Islam? No, they say we the Christians, we did not remove our slippers when we want well, to go to there's, church. There's, there's a churches, there are churches, Christian churches like the Coptic. Not only they don't, you know, they 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 go in the church in their knee, you know, they don't even walk in their shoes. So. This is this is silly. What does have to do with the? Okay, the Muslim they don't, uh, they they remove their shoes. What about dogs, and piss? Do you know that the Muslims, when they are praying, dogs used to come inside the mosque and they used to piss. Do you know that uh, 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 men they used to stand in the middle of the mosque and they pee? No. Let me show you the reference. So next time when you when they when they come to you with this, you show them. And not only that, okay. the dogs used to pee inside the mosque, and nobody clean it. Nobody clean the pee. Right. Let's see. I will show the reference in the screen. I don't know if you can see my YouTube. And I accept, by the way, to talk to you just because you are from Africa. Otherwise, I don't accept calls from non-Muslims. You know, it have to be Muslims only. I don't know if you can read with me. My father said, during the lifetime of Allah Apostle, the dogs used to urinate and pass through the mosque, come and go. Nevertheless, they never used to sprinkle the water on the urine of the dogs. Do you see it? Yeah. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari, and this is Sahih. So, a Muslim, he take off his shoe. Does that mean the mosque is clean now? Here we go. This is their prophet in his time. He is in the mosque. Dogs, they go inside the mosque and they piss. And nobody clean even after them. Okay. So what do you think? And that is filthiness. But why do why you think they are not cleaning? Let me say that one is just a filthiness because when such a thing occur, it needs proper cleanliness. Yeah, this, this is why. I mean, so so when the Muslim they speak about they take off their shoes, we laugh. I mean, what does that mean? You you're a prophet. Uh, dogs go inside. Even even a man even a man uh, he he stood inside the mosque and he started uh, uh, pissing. Muhammad he told them not to stop him. Muhammad, he, he told them not to stop him. I can show you the re reference. Here we go. Let us show the reference. Here. Uh, here we go. Um, the... the the, the internet I'm using, I cannot see these things. No problem. So you have to you give. Can, you can see. Things. You can see. You can see in the in the chat. The admins will post for you the link. The link.
So as you see, a man, he stood up and he started pissing. The Muslim, they want to stop him. He's a man. It's not a dog. Muhammad told them, let him finish. Don't stop him. Don't interrupt him. Imagine you are in the house of God. Jesus, if you remember, when the Pharisees and when the Jews, they were buying and selling in the outside court, not inside the temple. The temple had many courts. In the outside court, Jesus, he flipped the table on them. He said to them, you are making the house of my father a bazaar, a market. Muhammad, a man, he come, he stood in the middle of the mosque, holding his penis and spreading pee everywhere. And Muhammad told them, let me finish it. So not only a man is doing it, even dogs. And Muhammad never clean after the dogs. And this is Al-Bukhari, as you see. Anything else, my friend? Um, uh, give me the number of the chapter so that I can write it out. This is Al-Bukhari, Sahih, Sahih Al-Bukhari, Hadith number 174. Al-Bukhari 174. And the other one, yeah. and the other one is, uh, there is, it exists in many places. Let us see. Let us give it to you, Al-Bukhari. The other one, Al-Bukhari 6025. <clears throat> Both is al-Bukhari and both are Sahih. They cannot deny it. All right? Yes. Sir. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm very happy because I'm a Christian and I believe in a Christian faith and I believe in Jesus Christ and I follow Jesus Christ. I mean, my friend. So I mean. And, say, and say hello to all my brothers in Africa. Which country are you are from, my friend? I'm uh, from Sierra Leone, West Africa. Oh, uh, wonderful. Well, good to have you, my I friend. Always I always follow you on YouTube. I listen and I looked at your videos. I'm very, very, very impressed. Well, send, send my greeting to all the people of Sierra Leone. I don't know even how to say the name. Sierra Leone. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm sure I'm sure it's a beautiful country and the people there are beautiful people too. Thank you for calling. Really? Thank you, Thank sir. You. Thank you. So, you know, when the Muslim they claim that they have a clean house of God, I laugh. Clean house of God? And how clean Muhammad was? And by the way, the one who mentioned this is Imam Murra. <laughs> See, we get him busted. There's no Imam Murra. So the, the rest of the story is true. There's no Murra. I got you busted. There's no Imam Rocky. So you're a prophet. He used to be in the mosque and dog get in. And they left their leg and they pee inside the mosque. And nobody, never, 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 never put water over the dog's pee. Do you see how clean Muhammad is and how, how the house of Allah, how much he is jealous for the house of God? Where is the jealousy of a prophet? Dogs pissing in the mosque and nobody clean. Nobody would, you, you know, nobody sprinkle water. What kind of people they are? Imagine a dog, he go inside your house. This is not a church or a mosque. Your house. And he pee in the mosque. He pee in your house. Do you know how stink your house will be after 15 minutes? And here you see the irony. Isn't it this is the same Muhammad who says that dogs are very filthy? Isn't it the same guy? Isn't this the same guy who said if, your dog, if the dog, he touched your dish, you have to wash it seven times? The dog now is not licking. The dog is pissing. Literally, it is a piss. And nobody clean. But remember, there's no Imam Murra. I want to help the Muslims from now on. So you can have evidence against me. Narrated by... Hold on.
Oh, sorry, not here. Narrated by not Abu Abdullah. Hmm. Are you happy now, Muslims? I will type by Murrah. Hmm. Christian Prince, he did lie. There is no Imam Murrah. Imam Murrah. Hmm. And what a stupid people. So the rest is true. If there's Imam Murrah, there's no Imam Murrah. Who care? Imam Murrah. The story become Imam Murrah now. It's not the stupid prophet and how filthy he is. It's not the guy accused to be a liar by all the scholars. The story now, there's no Imam Murrah. We got him. Brother, we got him. There's no Imam Murrah. He did lie to you. And you, people, you go to Patron and you give him donation because there's Imam Murrah. Now there's no Imam Murrah, so you should not give donation for him, okay? <laughs> you know, the funny is that the Muslims, they have a very good, uh, they, are, they are watching carefully. So when Mimi Hijab, he says, not a single Jew, not a single Jew believe that God have a son. No, Muslim make a video says, you stupid, he's, what are you talking about? Isn't the Quran says the Jews, they said, Azair is son of Allah? He was saying that in the debate. Did you see any Muslim make a video says, Mimi Hijab did lie? No. Isn't this the stupid Quran saying the Jews, not a Jew, the Jews. The Jews, the Jews. Not a Jew, the Jews. They say that Uzair is son of Allah. Not a single Jew. Not a single Jew believe that God have a son. How you can explain that? But this is the Quran. This is not Imam Murrah. This is way bigger than Imam Murrah and Turrah and Furrah. When they ask Mimi Hijab, Allah have a hand, and then we find that Mimi was debating with uh, Fifi, debating with the other Muslim, saying, Allah, he said, he have a hand. What we can say? You can't accuse us to be kuffar. Allah, he said, he have hands. So Mimi Hijab, he says, Allah have hands. The other Abdul, he says, Allah, uh, Mimi Hijab says, Allah don't have hands. Who said so? Did you see any Muslim making a video says you're lying? Nobody. The guy, he denied that Allah have hands and have feet and have etc. The same Abduls who support Mimi Hijab, they are the same one who made videos saying, no, Allah have, but they did not say Mimi Hijab lie. They were not there. They are gang. So now this is the lie I made? Murrah? Murrah, Murrah, how you do? Everybody laughing at you. Muhammad today become a donkey. After that, we make him barbecue. Murrah, Murrah, how do you do? Can you please read? And then they will say, did you see how I hang up on him? More than 40 minutes, I keep asking, can you please read? No, I want you to admit that you did lie. My friend, I did not lie. That's it, I answered you. You proved me wrong, here we go. <laughs> No, you have to admit that you are a liar. Like, what the heck? Have you ever heard of some people debating? The first one asking the second one, you have to admit first that you are a liar before we can talk? Before we can talk anything. Anyway. Uh, let us see... Uh, Uh, My friends, 
We Muslims are the most intelligent people. Can we keep hamsters as pets? The Prophet ﷺ instructed us to kill five types of animals, whether we find them in the hill area, which is out of the haram, or inside the haram. And he also ordered us in different hadith to kill mice, because a mouse is a type of an animal that is evil by nature. And it carries a lot of diseases and the plague is... It's evil by nature. Remember that. It's evil by nature. The mice is evil by nature. One of them, <clears throat> among others. And it's known to be destructive and with evil intent, even it may take a piece of thread and get it uh, 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 burnt from or set it on fire from a candle or fire in the... So this is a, pre a premeditated uh, crime. You go to sleep, the mice, he go to the fire. He is evil by nature. He go to the fire. He takes some fire from the fireplace and he make a fire in the house. He's evil, what you can see. Sit on. Okay. The house and take that thread and burn the whole house with it. So mice are evil and we are ordered in Islam to kill them. Hmm. Uh, but uh, it's question. Did Imam Murra says that or different Imam? <laughs> a hamster is very similar uh -huh. to mice. It mm. looks like mice. And as they say, it's about 86 to 90 species of mice that are found there. Uh -huh. So a hamster is a rodent and it falls under the same category of mice and hence it is not permissible to keep them as pets because of the instruction of the Prophet ﷺ to kill them wherever we find them and to dispose of them. Well, this is the religion of wisdom, my friend. I, I'm sure all of you are learning now today that mice are evil by nature. What do you want more? How to wash clothes that are licked by a dog? How to wash what? Clothes, the dog did lick them. Thirdly, uh, Malika says that what is the ruling on washing the thobe that was licked by a dog? The hadith that refers to this in the sunnah relates to licking utensils. The Prophet said if the dog were to lick in the pot, in the uh, uh, um, vessel, in the plate of one of you, he should wash it seven times. In a narration, eight times. One of them. Seven times? Why? Why? Muslim? Why seven times? Why? So how the dogs, they come inside the mosque and they piss and nobody wash. And remember, this is the floor of the mosque where Muslim, they will put their head on it. They, their head will touch the floor. Their hands, their feet, their body. They are going to bow down in the top of the piss of the dogs. So, if a dog, he lick your dish, you have to wash it seven times. But if a dog, he grab his penis and he left his leg and he piss all over the mosque, we don't clean the mosque. And by the way, the one who said that is Imam Muratu. <laughs> so you must have can make a video about it too. There's no Murra, okay? This guy is lying. There's no Murra. Murra, 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 Murra. 
The topic now became Imam Murra. The news CNN, everybody talking about Imam Murra. There's no Imam Murra. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right. Uh, a question about watching movie in Netflix. I mean, those Muslim topic is really funny. Uh, let us see. Oh, yes, Al Qadi is a mushrik. The second opinion, which is now the opinion that I follow, is the opinion that invoking the saints, it is haram and it is evil and it is an evil innovation, a religious innovation, a bid'ah, and it is a stepping stone to shirk. It is opening the doors to shirk, but it is not shirk in and of itself unless. That action is accompanied by a belief that you're calling out to a God. It is accompanied by a belief that you are deifying that entity that you are uh, calling. So invoking is considered to be shirk on the day of judgment. And this is what the Prophet said, al-ibadah. Invoking, making... Guys, al-ibadah. Invoking is an act of worship. Dua is... Worship. No. See? So why you make dua to Muhammad? Muslim, why you make dua? Why you do invoke to Muhammad? Do you see how each one of them, he give you a different side of Islam? Islam is a joke. Why you Muslim you do? Why you invoke your Muhammad? Not only that, Muhammad he claimed that Allah he invoked to him. When Mimi Hijab he says, this is why it says pray for, not to. <clears throat> Allah he invoke. When Allah he says, may Allah forgive your sin, Muhammad. Allah was doing worship. Allah was making an invoke. Read it. That is an invoke. Any Muhammadan? Allah making a wish to a different Allah. Who is talking is Allah. Allah asking different gods, saying to him, May Allah, his name is Allah. So who is talking? Who is the one who made this verse? If the one who made this verse is Allah, then how Allah he say that, May Allah forgive your sin. And by the way, this is mentioned by Imam Murra. Obviously, <laughs> because there's no way Allah, if the one is talking is God and his name is Allah, how in the world Allah, he said that may Allah forgive your sin. Obviously, this is Imam Murra. We need to change the chapter name. Imam Murra said, Make a video about it. Oh, we are typing in Arabic, sorry. So the whole garbage we show you, this is the whole thing you stuck with it, Imam Murrah. Show me Imam Murrah. Show me Imam Murrah. Like a puppy who's holding in a bone, he will not leave it. 
ولا زمام مرة اوكي اه اني مسلم كان اكسبلين تو اس هو از ذا وان از توكين هير الله اور امام مرة اي تشينج اني مسلم تو انسر از ون اوف تو either the one who made this chapter is Imam Murrah or this is Allah if it's Allah then how Allah he said that Allah may Allah forgive your sin Allah is invoking Allah anyone According to Christian Prince, this is Imam Murrah saying that. Who can prove me wrong? Why I say Imam Murrah is the one who said that? Because we just showed you a list of a scholar that say that Hafs is a fraud and he is, this verse is coming from Hafs. So it must be Imam Murrah. <laughs> Imam Murrah. Yeah, like, you know, uh, it's like, you know, talking about a woman, she was a whore, and she slept with 10,000 men. And then somebody said that her bra was red. Another guy, he want to prove that he is lying. So her bra is not red. It was a blue. But still, she is a prostitute, right? So the problem now is the color of the bra. He did lie. There's no red bra. It was blue. Oh, mommy. Mommy blue. Oh, mommy blue. Any Abdul? Mickey Mouse versus Allah. The mice is evil by nature. The, the black dog is the devil. Uh, the lizard, he was trying to kill Abraham, Mickey Mouse. Oh my God, you don't know Arabic. What the heck? It's Kazab, not Kazab. <laughs> well, my friend, Allah, he sent me the, Allah, he sent me Arabic in seven dialect. He sent me seven books. <laughs> look at this lizard brothers and sisters look at this devilish eagle ugly this, uh, evil um, Musharik told the God uh, messenger ordered the guy go to be killed okay why why Islam with jihad on guy go saying that the guy go blow on Abraham. Like, what the heck? Al-Quran, chapter 21, verse number 68. Speak of Abraham being put into the fire. In the tradition, it says that the guy go blow fire to stir up. And now the Muslim, they have jihad against guy go. They forget about America now. Number one enemy is Geigo. And by the way, this one mentioned by Imam Murra too. Any Muslim? Look at this, look, look. Here they have different words for the Arabic word. Allah Messenger ordered this, that the salamander should be killed. And he said, i.e. the salamander blew the fire on Abraham. Do you see how evil the salamander? I mean, let us face it together. Okay, hold on. Who is the reference? It says here, narrated by Umm Sharik from Imam Murrah. See, he did lie. So now, instead of focusing on the stupidity of their prophet, 
the story now or this the focus is Imam Murrah. Where is Imam Murrah? Okay, I challenge you to show me Imam Murrah. Where is Imam Murrah? It's he. He does not know how to find us, Imam Murrah. It's he. I challenge you, Abdul. But I challenge you. But if there's Imam Murrah or not, or you're, do you believe in this story? This is not the topic. This is not the topic. Where is Imam Murrah? I'm reading what your page saying, your book saying. So, listen, I don't care. You did, uh, you know, uh, fabricated. Where is Imam Murrah? <laughs> so now the story is not how stupid Muhammad is, how that's how stupid the Quran is, how Mickey Mouse is smarter than Allah. The topic now is Imam Murrah. Mm, that's deep. You got me, brother. If there is any Muslim from Imam Murrah family would like to call us? Hmm. Any Abdul? And brother, we Muslims, when we go to the mosque, we take off our shoes, okay? Why you don't take off your shoes? Go clean your mouth first before you go to any place. The second you start reading Quran, so you go inside the mosque, and now the mosque supposedly is clean, which is not. And then Muhammad, before he go to the mosque, he do ablution. How he do it? He jump in water, have dead dogs and women blood from period. And the one who mentioned this hadith too is Imam Murrah. <laughs> Beat me on that. Look at this. They lie, brother. They lie. They say that Abu Sa'id al-Khadari, Sa'id al-Khadari, he said that. This is not true. The one who said this hadith is Imam Murrah. Beat me on that. Look at the stupid Muhammad. Look at this. Mental. Who cares if it's Murra or Durra or Surra? This is your books. I'm reading your books. What a bunch of cowards, hypocrites. I heard. I heard. People ask. Prophet Muhammad, that water brought for you from Bi'ri Bida'a, which the dogs and women menstruation clothes is thrown in experiment, experiment and garbage thrown in it. The Prophet, he says, water is pure and nothing make it impure. Sahih. Imam Murrah. Sahih. And this is the Prophet himself jumping in the water of dead dogs and women blood from period. And the water is less than your, you know, it's like in the best scenario, it, it, it's less than your, your, less your private part. I passed by all the Prophet and he was performing wudu. From the will of Bidah, I said, are you, are you Muhammad idiot? Performing wudu from the, uh, uh, from it when garbage thrown in it? So now Muhammad, a Muslim, they take off their shoes when they go to the mosque. But they go and jump in water, have dead dogs and women blood from period, and garbage, and the water stink. And Muhammad, he speaks science. He claim that water always is pure, and nothing, nothing make it impure. Nothing. Even there's dead dogs there. Even, even there is menstruation. You know, like they used to use rags in the old day. Even, doesn't matter. Even it says it's, it's stink. Stink. Can you, can you believe it? It's stink. And who said this hadith? Imam Murrah. I will make your prophet the joke of Imam Murrah from now on.
I promise. Mm. Does it say they're garbage? Does it say the word garbage, guys, in, in the Muslim translation? This is the Muslim translation. Does it say they're garbage? Yes, it says garbage. Who confirmed that? What is your proof? Imam Mora. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and look at the scientific fact look at the scientific fact if dogs fail into your water will not make it not clean but what about they are flesh of dogs they are not even one piece they are not even one piece dog they are flesh of dogs it's okay you know so what? Flesh of dogs is okay. Water is always pure. Okay? You see, guys, the word says flesh of dogs. Like, what do you mean? You made them shish kebab? Flesh of dogs. Not even a full dog. This dog became pieces. So now we have his legs, his tail, his belly, his stomach, his hands, his, you know, his arms. Uh, all of them they are throwing in the water and with it there's women menstruation rags but remember there's no Imam Murrah when Christian Prince he says Imam Murrah he's a liar the hadith is true but there is he lied there's no Murrah That's deep. What we can do now, that's it, we lost. The topic is not Islam no more. It is if there is Imam Murra or not. And then, Muhammad who... <laughs> you know guys, the angels stop coming to Muhammad because uh, there is a dead dog. Uh, he's dead under his bed. And the angels stop coming. Question, Muslims. How the dog he died, and he is dead under the bed, and Muhammad did not smell. And what kind of an angel? He could not tell Muhammad for 40 days. Guys, the, the dog is dead for 40 days. The dog is dead for 40 days. Who said that, Imam Murrah? 40 days a dog is dead under the bed of Muhammad. And Muhammad smelled nothing? How bad the smell of the room of Muhammad then? Any Abdul? Now, for sure, the story, every every story different. Some they say uh, 40 days, some they say a few days. But how in the world a dead dog entered the bed of Muhammad? And Muhammad did not receive revelation for 40 days because of that dog. Any Muhammadan?
to see. This is chapter of al duha 93. <clears throat> it have uh, 11 verses. And this is the interpretation of al taburani Let me find it first in different website. Hold on. <clears throat> Just to show you that we are not making things up. It was Imam Murra. <laughs> 40 days and nobody noticed. 40 days and Muhammad did not smell the, do the dead dog. Uh, and 40 days, it sounds like Alibaba and the 40 days, uh, 40 thieves. <clears throat> um, I have the reference, but I want to show. Okay. I have the book actually, but in Google in Google page and Google, I could not find a way to translate using Google translation for you. Uh, <clears throat> okay, let's do this. Maybe if we go. Anyway, we can use this one here. وأخرج الطبراني from 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 أبي مر إمام مر. Let's use Google Translation. Ah, I don't know why it's not accepting. Okay, let's see. So. I think the translation is not a hey, puppy. Here we go. So, uh, see here. So, the Prophet, may Allah bless him, Allah pray on him. Uh, and there, uh, there's, a, there's a dog, there's a puppy. He entered under the dog of Allah Messenger and he died. So, the Prophet did not receive revelation. For 40 days. So the dog is dead and there's no revelation for 40 days. And this is the interpretation of chapter 93. <laughs> Let's see if we can find it in Arabic. Maybe we can find it. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. This is the book of Asbab al Nuzul. Allah, He sent uh, uh, a verse to Muhammad saying to him, Allah has not forsaken you. So what the problem? It turned to be there's a dog in the house and he's dead. <laughs> Let me pause this one because this one is in English. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid thing like this? God, Islam stopped because of a puppy. Because of a puppy. Now, this is a different book from the first one we showed you. This is a book, it's called Asbab al Nuzul. Now, we will go to the other book, which is in Arabic. Uh,
God who is in this ability, he cannot send the Quran, the, the religion of Islam is stopped. Why? Because there is a dog, a dead dog, literally. A dead dog. <clears throat> Uh, let us go to Al Taburani. Where is Al Taburani? I need to find, I mean, sometimes it's not easy to find those books. Hmm. There is English list. Uh, yeah, a dog, a dead dog, under the bed of the prophet. Anyway, the one in English is enough, the one we gave you in English. So do you see how strong, how, how powerful Allah is? Allah want to finish his religion. He want to complete Islam. Allah, he sent Jibreel. Jibreel have 600 wings. Very powerful angel. But there's a problem. There's a dog, dead dog, under the bed of Muhammad. How Jibreel can get in problem? Let us call and ask Imam Murrah. Tararam, 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 tararam. Christian Prince, I trained you. I trained you to tell me Imam Murrah. There is no Imam Murrah. Uh, so, what, so what is it? There is Abu Mansur. Okay. There is Abu Al Hussein. Uh huh. There's Ahmed ibn Saraj. Uh -huh. There's Al Hussein ibn uh, Muta. Uh -huh. There's Abu Hudayfa. Okay. There's Sufyan at Tahori. Okay. There's Al uh, Aswad ibn Kais. Okay. But there's no Murra. Okay. Forget about Murra. Focus on the rest now. No, we have. You have to show me Murra now. No way. Where is Murra? I want to see Murra. <laughs> <laughs> so little puppy who is more powerful now the puppy or Allah so guys the prophet he was worried why he is not receiving so he's saying to Allah why I hope you are not forsaking me you know Allah please and then the woman looked like this woman. She cleaned the house of Muhammad once every 40 days. Look how clean the house is. And there's a dog, dead dog, under the bed for 40 days. Now, depend on the reference. Here it doesn't say 40 days. I don't see the word 40. But in the Taburani, it says 40. So, does it say 40 here? Let me see. No, there is no 40. So when the women, you know, she try uh, to clean the house, she to sweep the floor. When she tried to sweep under the bed, she felt something heavy. And she got out and found it was a dog. And she threw it behind the wall, which means because it's dead, you know. So she found the dog. It's dead dog. As you see died there and then she threw it and now the angel of Allah can come and give Quran to Muhammad I was going to send the message to the stupid Putin but we have a dog oh I can go there <laughs> Kadarov <laughs> he promised he will bite me <laughs> 
So the whole religion, the message of Islam is coming, and now little, and, and he is not even a, he's a puppy. If a rat, if a mice, she die in your house, she will make your house stink. Do you know that? This is why many people, they will not use, like let's say you have a mice in your home. They don't use poison, they use like trap. Because if you use, use poison, this mice might go and die behind the closet. God knows where he will go, you know? So uh, then your house will stink. You use poison only if it's outside, because whatever he die, he die, who care? But inside your house, he will make the whole house stink if it is little mice. So how in the world a dog died and 40 days is gone and nobody noticed that there's a dead dog? Any Mohammedan? <clears throat> Name one thing about this man is not stupid. How in the world this is can be a godly book? And this is a man from God. Let me see if I can find this hadith. Actually, I found a different book. Let us see here. Imam al Suyuti. This is the cousin of Imam Murra, by the way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is an Imam al Suyuti. He used to have like special, special relationship with Imam Murra, which has not existed in his time. And it says here. Uh, there is a puppy entered the house of the prophet and he died. Here, by the way, here it says four days the prophet was without uh, uh, without uh, revelation from Allah. In the other story, it says forty days. Here it's four. I mean, you see how Muslim add zeros, take zeros as as they wish. Four days became forty days, and the forty days become four days. And uh, so the do okay, a dog is dead for four days. Are you sure? <laughs> and the angel could not enter. <clears throat> oh, what we can say, everything is possible with Muhammad. And that means everything stupid is possible. Do we have any Muhammadan want to call us? Anyone? Did we have a good time today? Learning? And we showed you how Muslims, they try to avoid the real topic and they try to stuck to something silly. The topic now is not if Hafs is a liar and he fabricate Quran and he fabricate Hadith. The topic is, Christian Prince, he said there's Imam Murrah and there's no Imam Murrah. This is how desperate this religion, this false cult is. My hey friend, if there's Imam Murrah, there's no Imam Murrah, that will not change anything. All your scholars, they say that Hafs is a fraud. Face it. Ibn Hanbal. The Muslim Sunni, they have four sects. This is one of them. This is, a, this is a huge person. Ibn Hajar, uh, uh, Nisa'i, Al-Bukhari, Muslim. And those references are not my reference. So when you Muslims, you make a complaint. We laugh at your complaint. And then when we find that your prophet did not receive Quran because of little dog for 40 days. We don't care who is the name 
of the one who said that. This is your names. Those are the one you bring to us. We do not know them. We never met them. This is the book of Asbab and Nuzul. And guys, here you will see, I want to show you something. Uh, let me be sure first if this is the same book or not. Because here it says, this is the book of Asbab and Nuzul, but here it says that the dog, the, uh, Muhammad did not receive revelation for 40 days. For 40 days. Here it says, the, the puppy, he went inside the bedroom of Muhammad, and he died under the, the bed. And Muhammad did not receive revelation for 40 days, not four days. In the other book, it says four days. 40 days. The God who have a phobia of puppy. And you know, here, ask yourself a question. Okay, there is a dog inside the house, and the angel, he is afraid of puppies, or he is a phobia puppy. Why he don't give him the Quran when Muhammad go out? As an example, when Muhammad, he went out, once, Muhammad was doing poo-poo, Allah, he gave him the chapter of Al-Fatiha. As you see here, each time Muhammad, it says baraza, baraza, which means go out to do shit. Whenever he went out, this is the Muslim translation for doing poo, poo He used to hear someone calling him, oh Muhammad. And he ran, Muhammad, he ran away like an idiot. So why Allah cannot deliver the Quran the same way? Isn't it the same verse Muhammad received? It was in the cave of Hara, where he said to him, read supposedly. So why the angel now is stuck? He want to give him the Quran only in his bedroom. Obviously, there's something happened with Muhammad. And he is... We don't know what behind this story. He's unable to make something, to, to write something, to come with something. So he claimed that it was a dog. But I never heard of a god. He delivered his message to his prophet when the prophet is doing poo-poo. And now the Muslim will say he's lying. Where it says he is doing poo-poo? It says baraza. Baraza came from the word buraz. Buraz means shit. Literally. And the one who said that is Imam Murrah. What you can do about it? Any Abdul? Any Imam Murrah? Hmm? I can read it in two seconds, okay? I can refute you. I can get you busted. Oh my God, you don't speak Arabic. You don't know how to read Arabic. Your prophet cannot even read his name. I mean, look who's talking. When somebody, like all of you, most of you don't speak Arabic, right? So if they say to you, you do not know Arabic, you cannot read Arabic, says to you, your prophet cannot read his name. If you are trying to say that the person in front of you is ignorant, well, you are following the ignorant himself. And not only that, remember that the stupid Quran called the Christians people of the book. Muslims are not people of the book. And here you need to ask yourself, if the Muslim they claim our book is corrupt, so how does stupid Muhammad, he keep calling us people of the book, if we have no book no more? Why does guy keep calling us people of the book? Do we have a book or not? If our book is lost, then we cannot be called the people of the book. But just to show you how donkey Muhammad is. There's a video of Yasser Qadi. Somebody says to him, well, how you can accept Islam which came 600 years after Jesus and have no preference, no reference, no witnesses, nothing. Except Imam Murrah for sure. <laughs> Against Christianity, who have a lot of history, etc. So, isn't it the one who came at you know at the end is the last one to uh, you know to be accepted? So 
This is a question, and this is not my question. So Yasser Qadi, he said, uh, no, not, sorry, not Yasser Qadi. That was Shabir, Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali said, you know, he didn't answer as usual. But look how stupid Muhammad is. Muhammad saying to the Jews and the Christians, Allah told him to say to us, all people of the scriptures, Jews and Christians, why do you, dis why do you dispute about Abraham or Ibrahim? And by the way, the Quran write Ibrahim different, uh, you know, uh, way, which is very weird. Muhammad do not know how to say the name. So one he say uh, Ibrahim, one say he Abraham. Uh, but they change it here in the in the in the in the corrected uh, uh, version of the Quran. Why you dispute about Ibrahim when you are the last one who came after? Okay, so let's go with this. Muhammad is the one who came at the end, saying to the Christian and the Jews, why you dispute about Abraham when you came after Abraham? I mean, do you see how stupid he is? So his logic is the one who came after Abraham, he cannot dispute about Abraham. But you are the last. Do you see the stupidity? It's like somebody when I enter first, let's say you, have a, you, have an, you, you are in the, uh, in the post office. And you want to be the first one to deliver your box in the post office. And you are saying to the one who in front of you is standing there for a long time, you say, why you dispute about who is going to deliver it first when you came after Abraham? You are the last one, you idiot. So if the one who came after Abraham, he cannot dispute, that means you cannot dispute. They can dispute because they came before you. Do you think that Muhammad was demon possessed? We don't know. Maybe Muhammad is, is uh, Satan himself. We don't know. We have no idea. But we know he's evil. He's stupid. And you know, I'm so gr glad that Islam is made by a stupid man like Muhammad. Otherwise, it's going to be very hard to expose somebody exists 1400 years ago. But I'm so grateful for Imam Murrah <laughs> and the Muslims. Because if not them, we will not be laughing today. Who is the one who reported those things for us? Muhammadan. And now the Muhammadan trying to dispute us, or dispute with us, saying, there is no Imam Murrah, who care? But all of you agree with the story. Garbage in, garbage out. You don't know who is this guy, Abu Sa'id al-Khudari. You are the one who approved him, not me. I never met him. I never saw him. And when you Muslim, you collect a story. If it's not true, why you collect it? It's true when you want. And they call it Hassan here. Look, Hassan. Hassan means good. One of the grandsons of Muhammad, his name is Hassan. Is Hassan is accepted? Absolutely. Good. Hassan means good. All this garbage is written in your books, written by you, preserved by you, given to us by you. Now they will say to me, okay, Christian Prince, did you hear him? I have you recorded. You said that this is delivered by Imam Yu. Who is Imam Yu? Huh? Everybody heard you. You said this is reserved by you, delivered by you, written by you, translated by you. Now I challenge you to show me Imam you. You did lie. There's no Imam you. Huh? So the story now is not the stupid things we see in front of us. The story now is you, Imam you. It's not this garbage. This guy taking shower with dead, guard, dead dogs, women of blood from period. We don't want to talk about that. We want to talk about Imam Yu. What is Imam Yu? It's not about Muhammad jumping with rags full of blood from women menstruation. We challenge you to show us Imam Yu. What is Imam Yu?
flesh of dogs versus Imam Yu. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. I hope you have a good time. Don't forget to download the video. And I'm sure those who will download the video later, they will put together what this guy was saying so we can laugh later and most people will see how the Muslims are really desperate trying to fight, but they cannot. And you know, when a Muhammadan, he tried to fight me, trying to prove that the Christian prince supposedly is lying, we find it very silly, very stupid because they cannot deny the reference. They could not deny the reference. They are trying to deny me. But who is, who, who is me? Here we go. This is your reference. Nobody is following Christian Prince. I'm not a prophet. I don't claim that this is my reference. I don't claim that I am the one who wrote it. It's your reference. It is you who give a credit for those people. Otherwise, why you are collecting their names? So when we read the names you have, don't ask me about them. Ask yourself, is those are your names. We believe that all of those are a bunch of terrorists. And obviously they are filthy. The same as the prophet who jumped with dead dogs. And he claimed that water is clean. He jumped with women rags from ministration. And you know how, how the smell will be. And he claimed the water is still pure and clean. Description of this water is worse than, than, than a sewage. So which is not dirty like this. This is way more dirty. Based on Muhammad's story, water is always clean. So why you need Muslims uh, shampoo? Why you need soap? Why you need detergent? And why you need even water to be clean? If water is always clean. As long as this water is always pure, who is a Muslim is willing to make a video? The same as the cat video. You remember the cat video? Bring dead dog. Just one. Don't bring ten. One dead dog. One woman blood from period. Just one. And a bag of garbage. Throw it in the bathtub or jacuzzi. And I want you to take a shower with it or drink away from it. Can you believe it? No Muslim want to follow Muhammad. Muhammad, he cleaned his ass with three rocks. Muslim today, they have shampoo. <laughs> shampoo. Anyway, with my greeting to everybody, thank you very much for being here. I hope we have a good time. Uh, and uh, I hope tomorrow, well, guys. What? Let, let me know which time is best to go in different timing. So, like, I'm not going to choose one time, but like the, today, the time was good. Actually, I think uh, because this is will collect people from around the world, people who are in Africa can see us, people from America and uh, in Europe and Asia. Uh, but let me know if there's a if there is a better time for you. Uh, we did not use so we can which country which areas it's hard for you to watch let me know so maybe we can schedule a time for those people so thank you for being here and let us see how muslims are becoming upper state oh i don't want to i want the i don't want to, to see the upper state video i want to see this one god bless you and Christ is Lord, the stand is false, and see you soon. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions that has no bearing on whether it comes from god or not i've had phone books that are inerrant but i certainly don't think god gave them <laughs> that we believe without understanding the brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music watching movies and most of the television programs they're haram so how can we have fun let me tell you brother at the outset that having fun 
is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. In the prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 